I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Google for the sixth annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Award event. And we're very excited to be joined by one of the award winners, Neha Jain, Engineering Manager at LinkedIn. Welcome to theCUBE. Hi, thank you, Lisa. And second of all, congratulations on the award. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, one of the things that, that I found very inspiring when I was doing some research about you is how you describe yourself on LinkedIn. A lot of us use LinkedIn, of course. And I love that you said that you love to work on technology that empowers users and uplifts the society. What a beautiful statement. Tell me a little bit more Thank about you what much. you mean about that. So, uh, growing up, I always wanted to be in a space where uh, I was doing something for the community. A little bit about myself is I'm I was, uh, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an only child, and uh, my father passed away when I was barely a year old. So my mom, who's also disabled, raised me literally single-handedly, and we had a lot of help on the way. So the thing that always kept me going uh, and inspired is, if I could do it, then anyone can, and I have to make that happen. And that is uh, uh, an obligation or a responsibility that I have toward the word, world. So that's basically like what I did. Uh, initially, I wanted to become a doctor and uh, help the patients uh, get the best of their health, but I couldn't deal with blood. So <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a key. That was a good decision. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I was really interested in math. Um, as a child, uh, so I was like, yeah, let's try this engineering thing. It also sounds pretty fun. Uh, and then that's how I started in the engineering field. Uh, and uh, initially I joined uh, a company directly from college, but the work didn't inspire me as much. Uh, and then I found out about SlideShare. It was a company uh, in the user-generated space, uh, user-generated content space, and they had a female CEO. And I was like, oh my god, this is just perfect, and I have to get there. So I joined SlideShare. And uh, six months later, it got acquired by LinkedIn, like interesting turn of events. And then now at LinkedIn, we are in the process of creating economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. And that's a mission I can live for. That's something that inspires me every single day and gets me up in the morning, uh, gets me to work, where we are trying to uh, get the right talent matched with the right job, uh, get the companies the right uh, hire. And that's a very inspiring work to do. As a, and I would say inspiring, female and technology. What are some of the things that once you finished ed your education, you said your first job, you realized this isn't quite what I want, but you had the you had the drive, it sounds like, probably in innately for you that I want something else. You kind of knew what you were looking for. Um, or maybe you, you knew, I know when I'll get there. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Like it's, it's something that uh, what I was doing was interesting work, uh, but in terms of impact, it wasn't very clear. So I'm sort of a person who's driven more by results, by metrics or something like that. Like there should be something tangible that's coming right. out of it. Yes. Uh, that Validating, I can measure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so then I was like, at that time, like internet was taking off and it was all uh, very, like people were all over the place and there were like so many things getting shared and, uh, and then like, uh, Facebook came around and then there was uh, Arab Spring and like so many other things that were happening and uh, people were taking ownership of their own lives and their own uh, uh, values. Uh, so I thought that like something in the internet space uh, would be uh, an interesting place to be where you could uh, where you could like make the change and empower people, uh, empower your users. So. And I wasn't like willing to move out of India at that point, so it's like let's let's just join SlideShare. I, I uh, I'd been using SlideShare when I was in college doing researches and uh, working for Google Summer of Code. So then 
I saw that they had a banner that they were hiring, and I'm like, okay, yeah, let's let's just interview for them, and. Um, and here you are. Yeah. So in the last couple of minutes here, um, I want to talk about the the Top Women in Cloud Award that you're being honored with tonight. And also kind of something that I thought was really, really honest um, that you wrote on LinkedIn was, was your experience with imposter syndrome, which I've had for many years and didn't even know what it was until I, I read about it. And I think that's so, it's such a strong message. So knowing that you've had that, but also seeing how accomplished you are, what does this Cloud Now Top Women in Cloud Award mean to you? That's a very good question. That's something that I'd been asking myself as well uh, when I first got nominated for it. Uh, so my friend, who is the co-founder of Halberton School, uh, Silva, he nominated me for the award. I got the email and I was very excited that, okay, this is this is really interesting. Like. How could I become this person? And um, and then and then I read the application form. There were five questions, and I'm like, hmm, I'm not good enough. I'll not clarify. I, I'll not uh, be selected. And it would just like I'll just spend a lot of time filling out this application form. It will all be futile. So I thought that let's just not do it. But then Silva, he just didn't nominated me for the award. He pushed me to apply for uh, to fill out the application. Because he knew how accomplished you were. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to him for that. He started a Google Doc uh, where he copied all the questions and he started listing all the things that I had done. That's fantastic, Neha. <laughs> yeah, like he is the kind of mentor or the kind of uh, friend, uh, the kind of force that you, that I guess if, all uh, the females uh, and like all the people had, the world would be a, would be a different place. So like that's the kind of inspiration, the kind of support that you want from people. Absolutely. Yeah. And then like I was talking to my husband, and my husband was like, he he's a very logical person. He wouldn't give you direct prescriptions that okay, no, you should do it, you should do that, or this or that. He would ask you questions and then make you decide what you want to do. But then those questions will steer you in the direction, right. which is which is very clever of him. And very few people have the kind of uh, smartness to do that, where you don't even realize that you're being pushed into right. some but other it direction. It sounds like he, he helped you think through and you realized, I have accomplished a lot. Yeah. I, I am deserving of this award. And here you are being honored tonight. Yeah. So it's like, maybe that's not what I thought. What I thought is that there are things and I sh like, I should probably apply for it and not wait, like not give up uh, because of the result. So like that's something that uh, I've also learned in my life. Like my mom always uh, tells me that don't bind yourself to the result. Like just give your best shot. Like that's, that's all which is in your control. So just do that. And that's basically what my husband also ended up pointing out to me. So then I was like, okay, fine, I'll apply. And it was basically like just three days before the application uh, deadline. So I filled out the application form and I sent it out to uh, the LinkedIn's comms team for review. My manager reviewed the entire uh, uh, work-related stuff. And I'm so grateful that they were able to do the review process in time so that I could apply right before the deadline. Um, I don't know what the Cloud Now Award will mean for me and I'm I hope that like we are able to drive real change uh, in uh, in the tech field uh, and bring more women and more diversity and inclusion and belonging in the community. Uh, so today, uh, Vince Cerf was the keynote speaker, and he was saying that like when he joined uh, the tech industry, there were 50% women, and there were women who were programming. And like if you've seen the movie Hidden Figures. Like there oh, were yes. women who figured out how to program a very uh, long time ago. Yes. Yeah, a very long yes. time ago. And like we've had uh, people like Grace Hopper and like uh, all these other women leaders. Uh, and and now like just 20 years later, you would think the situation would get better, but it has actually gotten worse. Right. So why is it like the thing that falls on us uh, as a responsibility is to figure out like why would we change direction for the worse, and and why like. <laughs> People have gotten smarter, not lesser intelligent, right. right? So like, why would women not opt into computer science and like give up? There is something that we are not doing right. And 
I think a lot of companies have started asking the right question. Like in LinkedIn, we have the diversity, inclusion, and belonging initiative. And we try to make these differences like in real time. Like when I joined LinkedIn, for when I moved to the United States, I, I couldn't recognize people uh, because of the variety of facial uh, uh, structures. And um, I, I had a lot of difficulty. I had always grown up seeing Indian faces, and I could easily tell that, OK, you are from Calcutta, or you're from Bangalore, and I could tell it from their faces. But that wasn't something here, and I would always confuse people. And that bothered me a lot. But uh, at LinkedIn, like all the things that we had, uh, all the initiatives that we had, the culture and the values, they helped me feel belonged. And I've, like, not a single day has passed where I, I don't feel that, am I not the right person for this job? You're making a contribution. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Neha, on the award. Thank, thank you, you so much for stopping by, and I think you're quite inspirational. Thank you so much. And we want to thank you for watching. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at Google. Thanks for watching.